We're looking down on the Fontana Speedway in the city of, Alt of Ontario. It was formed as a city back in 1891. It sits just 35 miles east of downtown Los Angeles. Its main fruit farming is citrus and oranges. Not too far away, Mount Boldy towers over the city. That's situated in the San Gabriel Mountains, just 12 miles north as the crow flies from Ontario. The race ends at 6,427 feet. Well, that's the breakaway of the day so far. I'm Phil Liggett, joined in commentary by Christian van der Velde and Bob Rowe. While out on the course, Steve Prino, Steve Schlanger and Jens Vucht. Uh, those riders, a uh, little bit chillier for those boys outside today because the temperatures are only getting up into the low 50s for the better part of it. Well, there's a counter move coming here from the field that might change it. Is this Oscar Gatto on the move? That is Max Schachman. Ah. Who I'm finds glad. himself in the top 10 in the overall standing. So this is a serious maneuver. Very big move going off the front. That's well, interesting to see because they have Felix Groschnadner back in the peloton and maybe even stronger, and I'm assuming much stronger today. So Felix giving him the nod to go for it. That means that Felix has great legs here today. This is something you have to respond to if you want to win the Amgen Tour of California, if you have the teammates and the legs to do so. Max Schachman. Schachman's going only 20, on. Yeah, 22 seconds exactly. behind TJ. This is a serious move by the Bora team. This is the first move by Bora. They've got two cards they can play here, and there's going to have to be a reaction from EF Education first. Lawson Craddock went back to get bottles at a rough time. All the way back there. Now he's going to try to haul himself back with bottles on his back. Not an easy time to come back to the peloton. Interesting that they've used Schachman, the higher placed of the two riders on the, the same team of Bora Hansgrohe. Back with the leaders here. The spread though right across the board now is a mere 20 seconds. On the way down with Shackman. They've got to climb 35 seconds quicker to nail this guy back right now and they're running out of miles. Every corner now really hurts. It gets very steep. and Max Schachman living pretty good. I'll tell you what, we told everybody how cold it is up here. These guys have got nothing on. This is the fifth time he finished on Mount Baldy. I don't remember a peloton this size coming towards the end. One man only ahead of them, 2.6 miles to race. Uh oh They're slowly TJ's bringing it out. back. TJ's pulling out. TJ getting dropped right now. TJ Van Garderen in big trouble at the moment. And it's being created by Casper uh, Ashgren here. TJ, the race leader, is cracking. The gap is opening. He's looking for help. He's looking who's coming past next. He's gone. There is the virtual overall situation, but it's bigger now. Uh, TJ going. Shackman is the leader on the road of this race. A sensational climb. This is Moscon. Moscon, some of the crash damage from the race, trying to struggle to stay in contention, but TJ Van Garderen being dropped. Max Schachman streaking towards the win and the overall lead at the moment. There comes Richie Port on the attack, trying to get close and up to the wheel of Max Schachman. But Tade Pogachar still riding very well. Igita on his wheel and George Bennett hanging tough. Richie Port, these are your four men, the strongest at the finale of today's stage in the Amgen Tour of California but for take sure. Note. It's not just Van Garden who's gone now, it's also the man who was second overall, Kaspar Asgreen. He's gone, so too Gianni Moscon. So Podjakar is the next man, and here he is coming across now as he tries to get up and re readdress things here. He could be the winner of this race if he can find something special. Podjakar starting the day with an advantage of six seconds over Max Schachmann, who's leading the race at the moment. This is big bid. Ashgreen. This is Ashgreen, further down. Was second this morning. You must wonder what on earth has happened here. This is an attack by Iguita. Iguita on the attack. That is Pogachar matching that acceleration by Sergio Iguita. George Bennett trying to get back on terms. 
virtual uh, leader is a man second wheel, Tadej Pogacar. Everybody believes they can win the Tour of, Al of Argentina, California today. They are giving it the ultimate efforts here now. Pogacar joined by Higuita and George Bennett has gone onto the wheel as well. 12 second disadvantage in the overall standings from the man in pink there, Sergio Iguita, to the man in the best young riders jersey, Tadej Pogacar. And 10 seconds, 6 seconds, and 4 seconds. Time bonus at the line. Richie Port fighting back to get back on terms. George Bennett takes over the pace making at the front of the race. Getting to the higher altitudes right now in Mount Baldy. I'm giving the upper hand to Higuita right now, but that does not matter in the overall standings because Pogacar is the one who really has that time in hand right now. So he just needs to watch these other guys, make sure they do not go off the road. These three riders throwing everything they have got at one another here. The men who've dominated this race in the overall classification. They've seen TJ Van Garderen be dropped. They've seen uh, Johnny Moscon be dropped. They've seen Kaspar Asgreen being dropped. So we go back to the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth riders overall in this race. Now distinguishing themselves with George Bennett in yellow also turning the screw. A lot of these accelerations and hesitations allowing a couple of riders to get back on on terms that Richie Port goes on the offensive now. Let's see if George Bennett and the others can close down. Richie Rich Port 37 seconds behind the general classification, so they still need to watch him. Now look at Higita going and counterattacking oh. over Richie Port. This man's danced on the pedals. He looks at them. He's on the speedboat. He's just pulled away from them here. This is a super effort now. He's seen his team captain, TJ Van Gorderen, crack. Now he knows it's up to him to win the race for EF Education first. Tadej Bogachar trying to fight back, but Sergio Iguita, he needs about 12 seconds to further in front of... Pogachar to take over the lead, and he's about that right now because he's going to get a time bonus of 10 seconds if he wins the stage. Tadej just needs to really just time trial his way. Don't even think about what George Ben or Richie Porter are doing. Think about the overall classification. Just go to the front, put your head down, and hone in on that man in pink. Well, he's hinted at doing this all week. He's even nipped out sections on bonus time in the sprints on the flat roads. And he's obviously and clearly a great climber here. This is Bennett in the yellow. Port has been put back into third place in this group. Pogacar is the rider setting the pace. This man, and he's only weighing about 55 kilos, or I think, what's that, 120 pounds, something like that, he's flying up the mountain. Pure climber from Colombia, plenty of those, but Sergio Iguita, the latest in a long line of fantastic Colombian climbers. Well, this, this is a battle of Mount Baldy like we've never seen before. Everybody started this climb thinking they could win this race, separated by seconds. Three riders are still in that position. Four, because we've still got George Bennett as well as Richie Port. Pugacar, he's bringing him almost back. Almost back to the wheel of Igita. That's bad news for the EF education team. Pugacar, in, in 12 seconds ahead in the overall standings at the start of the day of the man. He's just about to catch it. Even with the 10-second time bonus, he would go into the lead if they crossed the line together. Pogaccia looks good. Yes, he's, he looks like he's complete control right now. The Lexus, one kilometer to go, and the man in white, best placed of the leaders on the road here, Tadej Pogacar, started the day in fourth, 16 seconds behind Van Gorderen, and now he leads the tour. There's a 10-second win bonus as well. Back on the wheel, Pogaccia has done it. He just needs to follow. Igita to the line and he'll take over the lead if he can do that let's see if Sergio doesn't have one more attack in his legs you should always give the upper hand to Sergio on this climb and in the sprint I think he's the faster out of the two but you never know who could sprint and who could beat who especially when you're way over your limit up and over 6,000 feet these wow. guys have got no no limit now they're right on that red line Pogaccia just 20 years of age but knows the pace he's capable of so well. Didn't panic when Igita attacked, and now has been able to catch him, distance his other rivals, just needs to follow the wheels to the line to get the lead. I think this might be seeing George Bennett and maybe even Richie come back, these guys, as they start looking at each other. Now we're coming back into that fence where I was talking about where you start having that rough pavement. And really, last time we saw, we saw Andrew Talansky really fighting it out towards the top here. 
Pogaccia definitely needs to go for the time bonuses, whatever is available. Yeah, to. Let's see what kind of sprint he can uncork. But I would definitely, like you said, Christian, give the advantage if they go to the line together to Higita. And we have switch back after switch back here. Not the hardest part of the roads. Most of the hardest slopes are behind them. Looks like George Bennett, I bet you he's going to come back. 12 Jim. seconds separated these two riders at the start of the day. There's a 10 second win bonus. Podjakar would get six seconds if he were to finish second. He's on a ride to take yellow now, that is for sure. And he's from Slovenia, whereas we expect the riders from Colombia to ride like this. There's the time bonuses, 10, 6 and 4 on screen at the moment as we now see George Bennett desperate to dig something out of this race. Bennett comes after them as they start the zigzags, 300 meters to go. Last couple of corners, Igita leading Pogacar, but George Bennett closing the gap down. Igita starts his sprint. Oh. Pogacar trying to match Igita for the line. He's just got to go around the zigzags to see the finish. He showed us he's one of those rare Colombian cyclists who not only climbs but sprints as well. He's gone wide. pochacar has gone through the inside. I doubt he can recover from that. Pochacar goes and yellow awaits as he gets the victory. The 10 second. Igita is fuming, I think. He went far too wide on that left-hander. Bennett came across in third. Paul will be in fourth. We have witnessed some race today, Bob. Great race. He's Pogacar, very prudent. Here comes, here comes the rider from CCC, Casper Asri, a little bit further down, trying to stay in the top 10 overall. Wow, what a stage by Sergio Iguita. Very wow. aggressive, but too aggressive on that final corner. And Pogacar, more prudent, way more mature than his age would suggest, just 20 years of age. Well, stage win, 10 second time bonus into yeah. the yellow jersey at the end of today's stage. And he's set up now for one day around Pasadena to become the youngest ever rider of this race. TJ and his team tried everything they knew today, but that attack by Shackman destroyed them. And then the moves by the other boys waiting in the wings that put the nails in the coffin of TJ Van Garderen today. Now waiting for the award of the Amgen yellow jersey. I must say that this young man has done all he's promised. He's parried the blows of the inquisitive press and he's delivered here on top of Mount Baldy as he salutes the crowd. I wish I felt that good as he, as he looks and haven't done one pedal stroke <laughs> whatsoever today. It's amazing. When's the last time you've seen two kids like this come in on their freshman year in the pro tour and have results like this it's frightening it's the it's I mean, the turn of Higuita's the uh, first race yeah new race leader Higuita will be in the best young riders jersey even though he trails the man he lost to today by a few seconds in the overall today Pogacar two jerseys to bring home to Slovenia that would be phenomenal Yeah, the baby face smiles there of Pudjika. And I must say, everybody who speaks to him says he's the nicest person they've ever spoken to. He's so polite. Let's check out the new overall standings here on Mount Baldy. One day to go. Pochakar leads there. Gita by 16 seconds. Asgreen is at 20. George Bennett is up into fourth at 29. Richie Board up into fifth. 41 seconds further down. Spillak has come on the scene now. Groshka and I won't be too happy dropping to eight. TJ has fallen away to ninth place. 1.22 back. 